Hi, my name is Libby Boyer, and this is my Dismantling Stereotypes presentation. For my movie, I chose The King's Speech, which is a movie based on the true story of King George VI and his struggle with his severe stutter as he was thrust into ascending the throne by the death of his father and the abdication of his older brother. His work with speech therapist Lionel Logue to help him with his duties of speaking in public and especially speaking to the people and giving them hope and confidence in him and in the monarchy as Germany declared war. The portrayal of a stutter in my research, both in articles Stuttering, the Role of the Classroom Teacher by LeBlanc et al., and the New York, New York Times article in film Stuttering Symptoms Reflect Current Research by Pam Bellick demonstrate that this was a fairly accurate portrayal both in the facts and in how people with stutters are usually present, usually present themselves and how they look physically. For instance, in the la delayed language development, Bertie King George VI often said words with a hard R as more of a W. The psychosocial stigma of this film followed all three of the readings, the Hayes and Black Troubling Signs reading, the Why I Burned My Books and Other Essays on Disability book by Longmore, and the Stereotypes About Disability reading by Block, both in all in the Discourse of Pity, Hierarchy of Disability, and the Expectation of a Cure for the Stutter. He was trapped by his stutter. He was often told he was not trying, felt hopeless, different, and in a sense, he was still confined by his stutter at the end because stutters are never necessarily cured, but he certainly got, gained more control over it. The treatment seemed to be working. He felt more confident and was given methods and techniques that could help take his focus away from his stutter instead of being yelled at and told to focus so much on controlling his stutter that it made it worse. The hierarchy of disability came when we found out that George had a brother who had died of epilepsy, and that brother was always kept away from the public eye, likely because epilepsy was harder to pass as normal in society because it was more visual, whereas a stutter is auditory, and so George was allowed to be in public and his brother was not. Lionel demanded equality in his sessions, equal names, respect, and expectations of both himself and of, Ed, of George, because he gave him respect, but he expected it back. You saw people who had faith in George the entire time, as well as characters who understood his struggle, like Winston Churchill and a young boy who also had a stutter. You could tell Lionel also felt equality with people who had disabilities because he took being called peculiar as a compliment. Jo uh, George also advocated for himself, declaring I have a voice and proved that he was no less capable in fact, spite of the fact that everyone treated him as though he was dumb. He just needed to be provided correct tools and resources to control his stutter. I feel that people with stutters would feel this movie is validating, empowering, difficult, and real. I cannot necessarily speak for them, but it is a movie that portrays what their struggle can be like, I assume, and shows that they are just as capable. People without stutters, it's very introspective, eye-opening, and creates awareness of the fact that so many people do struggle with getting their speech out in ways that we cannot not necessarily understand. And I feel that reactions could be realizing lack of voice because you may not have power like George did, or realization that you can have a voice and advocate for yourself. I think accuracy was a huge implication because it shows true stutter awareness and, uh, but also the pity because the discourse of pity was there and struggling with trying to make sure we don't pity people who have disabilities, just ask how we can help and advocate with them. I feel my learning experience was valuable because I have personal awareness now of the different pro uh, speech disorders that others can have. I'm desiring to learn more and I'm feeling like I can prepare myself more for my classroom and I feel changed because 
I know that I struggle with patience and I know that that's something I need to focus on when I apply in my classroom. And sometimes that we need to go beyond the IEP because I'm sure the techniques that were shown in this movie are not necessarily listed in the IEP, but they appeared to be very helpful at drawing focus away from focusing on the words coming out of George's mouth and instead gave him something else to focus on so he could get the words out. I want to make sure I find tools and resources for everybody and make sure my expectations are never lowered for people, no matter their ability, because I know they can do it and empowering all of my students to feel like they have a voice. Really quick, there are some well-known people who have had or had stutters. President Joe Biden, Samuel L. Jackson, James Earl Jones, Marilyn Monroe, and there are many more. There are other portrayals in pop culture. There was a MASH episode called Run for the Money with a Soldier with a Stutter, and David Ogden Steers, who played Dr. Winchester, who himself, actually, and Dr. David Ogden Steers actually struggled with a stutter, helped that soldier because his sister had a stutter as well. Porky Pig is well known, and Bridgerton recently portrayed the Duke as having a stutter when he was a child and struggling with it because his father found him to be an imbecile. In conclusion, here are my references, and I want to thank you for listening to my presentation and listening to my brief synopsis, as well as what I have learned and what I felt this movie showed. Thank you.